Toy Mat, a channel where we take vintage toys and compare them with their modern reproductions or counterparts. This episode, I'm taking a look at the Duocon Battle Trap. Duocons are transformers that are similar to combiners. Like their name suggests, Duocons are made up of two vehicle parts that combine into a single robot. Until recently, the vehicles did not have their own smaller robot modes. So here on the left, we have the Generation 1 Battle Trap. Uh, his vehicle parts are an Apache helicopter and a camper truck. He comes with one accessory, a double-barreled missile launcher. The weapon can either attach to the roof of the truck or to the chin of the helicopter. The transformation is pretty simple. The helicopter has these three pegs on the bottom that peg into the top of the truck mode. So now you have this helicopter on top of a truck driving around. So the next thing you do is pull down the tail of the helicopter and he stands up. Then pull down the front of the helicopter and there you have Battle Traps robot mode. The weapon then pegs into his shoulder like this. And that's about it. Battle Trap rolls along on his truck wheels and he has no real articulation at all in his robot mode. Now, onto the Battle Trap from the Power of Primes line released in 2018. So Hasbro went into a different direction with this version. He is actually a them. Battle Trap was released as two Legends class figures with their own individual names. Battle Slash, the helicopter, and Road Trap, the truck. Battle Slash and Road Trap each have their own vehicle and robot modes. So these have some pretty complicated transformations for Legends class figures, so I will be transforming these off screen. So here's Road Trap's robot mode. And now onto Battle Slash. And here is Battle Slash. One thing that I think they really missed the mark with this new figure is the helicopter blade is not designed to be removable. It would be cool if it was removable and could be used as a sword. So now to form Battle Trap, each have their own intermediate transformation. So let me get working on that. The Battle Slash forms the upper torso. And Road Trap forms his pants. So Battle Slash has a port that connects to Road Trap's head. <clears throat> to form Battle Trap. Battle Trap is about the size of a deluxe class transformer. Uh, he has pretty good articulation. Um, however, one big drawback is he has no accessories, which is a disappointment. So side by side, how do they stack up? Well, it's kind of obvious in the robot modes. The G1 Battle Trap is pretty bad. Uh, there's no articulation whatsoever. Uh, he has no legs. He's on a roller skate. Actually, he kind of looks like a cobbled together post-apocalyptic fan-driven go-kart. The Power of the Primes Battle Trap, this is a pretty good toy overall. Uh, it's good articulation, and like the modern iterations of Transformers that are coming out, they're good updates and really worth picking up, with the exception of the lack of accessories in the Power of the Primes line. If you want to pick up the Generation 1 Battle Trap today, uh, you could probably pick them up loose complete for about $25. If you want to get a box version, expect to spend around 100 You could still pick up the Power of the Primes Battle Trap. Uh, each individual Transformer you can get for about $15. So what are your thoughts? Do you have any toys you like to see me compare? If so, mention in the comments below. What kind of Duocon team-up would, would you design? Me, I'd like to see a motorcycle and an armored sidecar. So please join me next time when I take two toys and have them take it to the toy mat.